sometimes. Sammy, where we at? Today's adventure brings us to LA Haunted Hayride. Don't copy Adam the Woo. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I get excited. We are here at the LA Haunted Hayride. Midnight Falls, as you can see in the Midnight back. Midnight Falls. Yeah, yeah. There you, go. You, you can see it now. First year here. We are very excited. Yes, We're first check time. Out, check out the Hayride. Check out some mazes. Yep. Tammy's here with us. Say yes, hi, Tammy. Tammy. We got the league here. League's here. We're all here. We're all ready to have a good time. Midnight Falls, here we come. Let's here do this. Here we come. Let's go. The leaves changing colors and the breeze blowing through the hills means only one thing for a select group of folks. Fishing season 1985 is officially open. All the local anglers swarmed to Midnight Lake. Tell me she's gonna do what I think she's gonna do. Tell me what I do. She's gonna think. Yep, I knew it. Yep. What'd you think, Sammy? The hayride was pretty sick. Um, it was a lot more comfortable than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, definitely. Um, the, my only complaint is I think because we rode it so early, we didn't get to catch every single part of it. Yeah. But overall, it was a great ride, a lot of fun, and it had a good story throughout. Yeah. Um, and I really, I'm really, i really digging this interconnectivity we're seeing um, between all the characters. And so, just having a great time today. Definitely. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am editing the Haunted Hayride video right now, and I just wanted to quickly put this in the video as well the footage you're about to see is actually the story behind uh, what is going on with the characters of Midnight Falls and um, the interactiveness that these characters bring to the table now we got to interview the majority main characters of the event this is the stories they were telling us they were leading us different places and it ultimately just led us into one of the mazes uh, from there we got to experience more of the story when we went through the more of the mazes um, so enjoy this. This is this part of the video is going to be the story portion of it. So definitely enjoy this. And here we go. Hey, we got a friend. Hi. We got a friend. Yes, I have a public service announcement for you today. Definitely. If you're looking for the best food in Midnight Falls, you got to come to the Falls Diner. There's this other place in town called the Roadkill Ranch, but they are not approved by the food organization. You know that important food organization, but I am. I trust so you. Don't thank you so much. I am very trustworthy, you know. So don't go to the Roadkill Ranch unless you want to get severe food poisoning. You don't want that, do you? Yeah. Wow. What's the what's the what's the what's the best dish? The best dish is my pumpkin soup. However, I took off today, so it's yesterday special. So it's not really that special, is it? If it's yesterday special, no. but my pumpkin soup, I'm so proud of. It's so good. You is like it? pumpkin soup? Oh, it sounds great. Ah, thank you. Uh, thank what's you. The, what's the special? Ingredient. The special ingredient in my pumpkin soup is, are you guys ready for this? The special ingredient in my pumpkin soup is squash. Oh. Oh. Wow. Yep. Yep. That's a big secret. Yeah. A little surprise there. Yeah. But I do like using pumpkins. I have pumpkin lattes, pumpkin water, pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread, pumpkin pumpkin, pumpkin squash, squash pumpkin. You know how it is. I love oh. Halloween. 
Oh, that sounds like a great time. Thank you. Well, then come to the Falls Diner. All right. When, when are you working again? Sam Pardon? Is for, are you hiring now? Sam is looking for a part. Now, here's the thing. You're going to have to fight me if you want to get a job there. So I don't think you're going to get a job anytime soon. Sorry, buddy. But who's working tonight if you're not working? So here's the thing about that. Patty Parker says, I'm not allowed to take this day off. But I think everyone should be allowed to take off on Halloween. Of course. It's our 13th yeah. annual Harvest Festival. Agreed. Therefore, I'm taking off. What's going on behind me? Yeah. Oh, that's Chris Stafford. See that man there? Yeah. That's Chris Stafford. He's yeah. a quarterback. He's a quarterback. Yeah. See, I have a crush on this girl called Jill St. Stephen. She's a cheerleader. He just broke up with her. So I, can I tell you a secret? Everybody, getting close, getting close. I'm going to tell you a real secret. When Chris Stafford comes to the Falls Diner, I spit in his burgers. <laughs> Dude, you just earned all my respect. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I think we all want to do that to the quarterback, don't we? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This guy had it coming, that's for sure. Okay, bye. Okay. I just wanted to thank you so much for voting for me for Miss Midnight Falls. Of course. Jennifer Hernandez, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. Also, I just wanted to tell you that if you have a chance to talk to Darren over there, would you mind talking me up a little bit? Yeah. Thank you so much. I I got I went to all this trouble to win this crown and he still won't even look at me. Really? Yeah, well it's because he's such a hunk and he has a steady job. I mean that's all we want, you know, in life. So, like, I get it, I guess, but he's playing hard to get. All right. But you're so, you're so beautiful. How are you, how are you not? Oh, Sleepy, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> but if you wanted to ask, I'm sure you'd get a really creative response. All right, I'll ask him for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. What's your name? Tammy. Tammy, it's nice to meet you. Jennifer, again. Yes. Thank you so much again for your vote. I'll talk you up right now. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Make sure to talk about my good side. This is my good side. Okay. Right side. Got it. Thank you so much. You're Have a good night. You too. Who is this guy? Well, I'm on board, sir. Of course. Bro, oh, Taylor like Tan suit. My name is Councilor Perkins. You're going to go for me. All right, that's a Taylor suit. Thank you, thank you. What are you what's, what's your name? My name is Councilor Perkins. Oh. Are you one of my constituents? Of course I am. I am here making sure the Halloween is safe year after year after year. All right. We're all for that. Are you going to make Halloween great again? I am going to make it great again. That's what I heard. But this year, it's already great. That's it true. This year, you love it. Midnight Falls. Everything's great here. It's great. We love Midnight Falls. It's all thanks to me. Oh, yeah. Make sure you know that. Of course. I've almost taken care of all the rats in this town except for one. Excuse me? Can't yeah, wait until you're voted out of office. I'm not the pest. You know, one of these folks said I should run, and I'm thinking about it. Because it's what? about time for you to lose that podium, I tell you what. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to run. Uh, by the way, uh, what? Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. what are you doing? That's what I thought. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Did, this is not what if you would run this town for. right, maybe there wouldn't be such an infestation everywhere. We, we have it's gross if you you're not doing your job. Yeah, this up. town is disgusting. Yeah, yeah because sir, you're not sir? cleaning anything. Do you what know, do you want? Do you know who Miss Midnight Falls is? Oh, I think I've seen her around before. Come here. How can you not know Midnight Falls? I voted for her. Oh, did you? Yes. Have I met you before? <gasps> You look kind of vaguely familiar. I can't place you though. Uh, but Darren, we heard that you wanted to take Miss Midnight Falls on a date. On the hayride. On the hayride. Uh, you see her beautiful good side? I got a side? job to do here. Oh, bugs, there's bugs everywhere. I'm sorry. I, I mean, feel she... very set up right now. To well, be we, really, we, try, we really no, tried. No, you know it's really, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's uh, good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So We're good. Uh, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. I'll get him some other way. I'll win another crown. I'll get another one. There'll, there's two. There'll be two crowns. You got my vote. You got my... Oh, you are so sweet. You are all so sweet. Thank you so much. You are the best. All right. Well, I'm going to go thank more people. It's fine. I'm going to go thank more people. All right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you. Like she can run for office. I think it's fine. <laughs>
Anyway, I want to, I want to like really hype up your campaign. So remember, vote for me, Midnight Falls Councilman. Councilman Perkins. Does that sound great? Sounds amazing. Sounds so sublime. Sounds amazing. Thank you for your time. We really appreciate it. Remember, a vote for me. Make sure Halloween is great again. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So we we need we need some explanation. Oh, all right, all right. So we just talked to Miss Midnight Oh, did you? Damn told Darren. her about Darren. Okay. She went over to Darren, and Darren says he doesn't know who she is at all. Ooh, Ooh so Darren. We're not sure what's going on here. What are we gonna do about this? Well, I'm gonna let you guys in on the secret because you're my bro friend. Okay. So okay. When I said that she was gonna meet Darren for a date. I was secretly saying, come meet me for a date. So that way, when she went up there looking for Darren, who she totally has a crush on, I was gonna be there instead, and I was gonna say, surprise, I'm your date tonight. And hopefully she'd fall madly in love with me because I'm such a clever person, don't you think? I well, think so, thank I really you. do. There's a problem about that. Okay. There's something us, people call catfishing. 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 Is that like when you go down to Midnight Lake with your cat and you go fishing? No. Okay. It's what you were going to do to Miss Midnight Falls. Usually it's not seen as a It sounds dirty when you put thing. it that way. Well, it's a bit, it's a bit dirty. Okay, how so? I want you to explain what this catfishing is. Oh boy, this is a hard one. Well, you see, so you're going to set her up yes, to I, see Darren. Darren, yes. But Darren's not going to be there. Possibly. Possibly. Okay, I can't confirm or deny this. So she's showing up ready to see Darren, right? right. You know, right. they're gonna get it on and everything and have so whoa, much fun. Whoa, 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 right? I didn't say anything about that. We never say anything, anything about that. that. She was ready to see Darren, that's all. She was ready to see Darren with her eyeballs. But, but she sees you. Yes. And who wouldn't be delighted to see me? I mean, come on. Well, you're a delightful person. I appreciate but it. But she's wanting to see Darren. Sure. So she's gonna be a bit sad. So I have a plan B. Okay, let's hear this. Jill St. Stevens, as I told you before, just broke up with the quarterback. So what if I... Can you guys help me? I want you to go to Jill St. Stevens, the cheerleader, and tell her to meet me, not Darren, not me, at the hayride at midnight for our date. You got that? What are you gonna tell her? We're gonna tell her to meet you at the midnight fall. And what's my name? You've never given it to him. Never oh, I'm sorry, Reggie McTavish. Nice to meet oh, you. Thank you, Reggie. So tell her, Reggie. We're going to say, Reggie, Reggie wants to see you at the Midnight Falls. Hey, right. Hey, right. Oh, my gosh. At midnight. At midnight. At midnight. One, more, one more time? Okay. <laughs> you clear, want. Clear, clear your throat. <clears> throat> <laughs> so you want to see her <laughs> at the Midnight Falls. Hey, right. Very good. At well, midnight. Yes. Four. Our date. For your date. For yes. Reggie's date. For Reggie's date. Okay. Wait, okay. is there a way you want us to say your name like the fantastic Reggie or the, the, the five star? Sir Reginald. What was that? Sir Reginald. Sir Reginald sounds nice. Okay. The extremely fancy, gentlemanly, five star cook, Reginald from the Falls Diner. Actually, just Reggie's fine. I mean, that's Okay, fine. just yeah. Reggie. So, I want you to go over there. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? She's over there by the line. What are you going to tell her? You say, Reggie wants to see you at the Midnight Falls Hayride at midnight. For our day. For the day. For a fantastic day. Come back and tell me how it goes. All right. All right. You let him Why? get away so easy with that catfish thing, though. Look, you know, he wants to move on now, okay? Whole, like, Damn it, Tim. Storyline here, and you just let him go. With well, that. sometimes people make mistakes, all right? And I guess he made a mistake. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Darren. Darren. What's up? We, Darren, you disappointed us. <laughs> disappointed you how? He's a rat. Well, we thought... I'm doing my job. I'm everywhere trying to take well, care no, of this no, mess. Darren, we just wanted to know, do you like Miss Midnight Falls? Who is Miss Midnight Falls? Oh, man. Right there. That's, that's the problem. That's the problem. Right we, we heard you liked Miss Midnight Falls, but... Uh, you don't. know, there are stories everywhere. She has a Like this on crap you. about the ghost bunglers. Oh, oh those God. jerks. I mean, who are you gonna call? A uh, me! Yeah. <laughs> yeah! You know what I'm saying? For sure! Dude, the chair there's right behind us. Right there. We gotta start here. There's too many wonder. quests! Cheerleader! I don't know which one's the main quest What? What's your, What's your name? I have a name. What's your name? My name is Jill St. Stephen. Jill! Jill! We just heard some amazing news. Oh, we have what? some amazing news Do you, you know Reggie? 
Yeah, the gross fry cook. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. oh. Okay, well, actually, I think you mean the amazing five star uh, Sir Reginald. You've Rob. never had his food then, have you? Oh, jeez. Now the, the diner's closed. So the pumpkin soup's good. It doesn't taste any different from what the people at the Roadkill Ranch up the street oh. make. Oh, uh, he told us not to go there. Yeah, you shouldn't. Uh, well, I... Should I still tell her? Yes, you should, yes. So Reggie was wondering. No, not wondering. He, was, he wanted, he to, wanted to ask you yeah. if you would meet him at the Midnight Falls Hayride for a date at midnight. Oh! Oh my god, not even that. I have a boyfriend. Oh, well, I heard, I, I heard different. Yeah. We didn't break up. It was a total misunderstanding. We're basically like already engaged. Oh, like you can hear the church bells ringing. Oh, that's great. Um, oh, all right. We're very happy well, for you. We're happy oh, for you. Thank you. you. Know? Uh, oh, thank you. You're totally invited. So, Everyone's invited. So should, we, should we tell Reggie? You? Tell Reggie whatever you want. I wouldn't talk to him though. You'll probably get like 80 diseases. Uh, 80 diseases. <laughs> and have you seen his face? Why are you all gross? He's devilishly handsome. Where are you guys from? Are you from Raven Nights? Because they have terrible taste over there. Oh, snap. Has Reggie dated some people from Raven Nights? I don't think Reggie has ever dated anybody. <laughs> I, mean, I think he just stopped now. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll tell Reggie. I'm getting sad uh, here. It was really nice meeting you. You too. What's your name? My name is Tim. Nice to meet you, Tim. Nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, we got to go tell Reggie he ain't got a chance. <laughs> just asking the hard hitting questions. You're making me feel freaking sad. Now you're gonna make Bro, me we're not going sad. through any of the mazes. We're just telling we're just gonna we gotta make night. shit. We're gonna have to buy another night just to go through mazes because this is too uh, fun. Tim, our buddy Tim has okay. some news to tell you. Good news or bad news first? Oh my gosh. Alright, how about the good news first? Alright, you look handsome as usual. Oh, thank you so much. I tried some bow tie, isn't it? It is. Bad it, it really news is puts the whole thing together. Okay. Get it over. You don't have that date. Oh, but that was so Did you say it wrong? Did you? That's why. It's because you said it wrong. Well, she says she's still with, <laughs> with the quarterback. The quarterback. Oh, that's but, a dirty but, uh, lie. That is a dirty the lie. Quarterback told well, the us quarterback told us something right different. Here, actually, no, no don't, call, don't call him over. Don't call him over. Please don't. Please okay. don't. Okay. What's wrong? What's I'm afraid he's going to find out that I spit in the burgers, and I do not want to have an encounter with him. Now, let me tell you, it's because you didn't say Sir oh. Reginald. No, he did. The fancy. I, I, oh, what? Really? We did he say how fantastic you are? Yeah, we really. He really hyped you up. She said. She doesn't think you've ever dated someone before or had a chance with anyone. With that Raven you don't need place. To tell that Raven. Well, I, I'm the messenger, okay? I'm trying, hey, he's our friend. I'm trying to, to support you. You're doing a great you, job know? as the messenger. I really I'm appreciate sorry. that. But I'd like to clarify what she said. First of all, she's not wrong. She is telling the truth. I don't date. And that's a choice. Okay. All right. See, yeah. I am, as they say, married to my career. That's smart. There you I'm go. married to the Falls Diner. For sure. Right? Well, so should I also tell tell him the other spit news? Spit it out, spit it out. What is it? Ah, damn it, He Tim. also said that the Falls Diner is as bad as what was Roadkill Road Ranch. Ranch. Now that is taking things a bit too far, just like David. Not you. I'm not going to shoot I the know, messenger. I know, I know. Hey. That's why We're I said Joe St. Stevens. We are pals. I really appreciate your help. That's taking things a bit too far. Yeah. So I later tonight, if you're feeling hungry, come by the diner, and I want you to do a video testimony confirming that we are better than the Roadkill Ranch. Well, sure Otherwise, we're, we're letting Jill St. Stevens win. Yeah, you got my and word. Why do we want to do that? You got our you know? word. Yeah, thank and we'll you. we'll say it's Reggie that. guaranteed. It's Reggie. You know what? I should have you write my slogan. I'll do it. How about you. on the apron right here? It says, The Falls Diner, Reggie guaranteed. Yeah, we got to make it bright, too. Bright. Well, how about like bright yellow or orange? Should we put your face on it, too? Well, that'd be great. You think you could broider my face you're Oh, sure. in the face of the diner, obviously. In the so. face of the diner, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I am the only employer. Did I say that? I'm the only employee. It sounds kind of you're weird when joking. I say it that way. No, I am. I know. I don't tell too many people I'm the only you're employee. I understand man, why I'm... you're focusing on your career. Exactly. Not... But I mean, you know, every now and then a kiss would be nice. Not from oh. you. I'm sorry. I don't mean no, to be no. friends. I mean from Jill St. Stevens. I agree. That you're not a perfect I agree. patch. 
much. I just mean, you know, you know I want to pick and choose. I think a cheerleader is a great way to be choosy, right? Yeah. Yeah, you want to shoot for the moon. You deserve because it. Because if you don't land on the moon, you'll land amongst the stars. That's what they say. You'll fall. You deserve you'll it. Fall. You deserve right, it. Right, you'll fall. What? That sounds depressing. When I say it. I'm going to fall. Oh, I'm going to shoot for the moon, and I'm going to fall all the way down. Two Falls Diner. Two Falls Diner. <laughs> So you know what I do there? You know what a short order cook does? It's actually really amazing. I have this knife, and I take a big thing of salami, or beef, or chicken, or whatever, and I go, and I pour the coffee. I do it all at once. It's like I have eight arms, but I only have two. That's a secret. Don't tell me. I only have two arms. I think I have eight, because I do everything myself. And then I spit them out. I don't actually spit at them, except it's Chris Stafford. I spit at him. I spit them out like that at each of the customers. Reggie approved. Reggie guaranteed, rather. You know Reggie what? guaranteed. What? We're going to bring some of the cheerleaders over to the Falls Diner so that they could see how crazy of a cookie and how great you are. They'll fall for my talents. They'll fall for your talents. And when they fall for my talents, they can ignore that I don't exactly look really pretty, right? You look handsome. Oh, thank you. Cool. Well, it's the bow tie, right? It's we talked about this. Well, I think that's a great idea. Sometime bring all the cheerleaders over to the diner, and I'm going to come up and I'm going to say, <clears throat> what, what kind of voice should I use? What kind of voice oh, is something man. like a really attractive person uses? You, you would go, know. You're a handsome you man. Go you gotta do yeah, do some like David Hassel. David, oh yeah. Or, what about that? This yeah. is the 80s. Hold on. What <laughs> if I do? He's in the 70s too. What if I do? Wait, there's this show. Knight Rider? Is that sound Knight no, Rider. David Hasselhoff. <laughs> so what if instead of David Hasselhoff, what if instead of David Hasselhoff, I do the voice of that car? Yep. And Kid. I'm like, Kid. I'll serve your food. Oh. I'll serve all your food at this table. That's perfect. Right? I love it. It's also European. And it, European is sexy from what I hear. European. It's very, Yeah, it's very attractive. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to come up with a European. How does David Hasselhoff talk? He's like, Hey, he's like, like no, hey, yeah. how's it going? Oh, so, oh, so he's like, hey, how's it going? That's what David Hasselhoff says? Yeah. Hey, stick, how's it going? I think we should stick with the kit. With You're the done kit. good, yeah. Hasselhoff. Okay. You're done All right. good. Well, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Do you work for NASA? Uh, yeah, I'm looking looking to, looking to get hired. So since you don't have a chance to fall aside or something, only employee, yeah. I'd recommend pursuing that thing. They did this great thing a couple years ago with Aren't Kennedy. They went up to space. Work, loser? <laughs> she didn't just do that. That was a drive-by shooting just now. <laughs> Hey, you're better than that. Thank you. You can do so much. Thank you. Well, well when you bring the whole cheer squad, oh, then sure. we'll talk. For we'll sure. talk. Because they're so much better. Than That's why you're better than that. We'll bring yeah, the Raven Knight, right? Yeah, yeah, Raven Raven. No, 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 no. Oh. Raven Heights is the neighboring town. You cannot bring the ones in Raven Heights. No, no, no. I'll go see your diner. Thank you. There's there a customer go. right there. See that? Perfect. See that? They're getting the word out. Raven, the only reason I root for Raven Heights is because Chris Stafford is on our team. Right. Uh, no, you know, come on. I can't root for this team with Chris Stafford on it. So I root for Raven Heights. But their cheerleaders, let's say they're a little monstrous. They're a little grotesque. Midnight Falls has the pretty. Right. They look like me. They're really pretty. All right. So, Guys, all right. I think we got to make a, a visit. There we go. We we'll got to get all the cheerleaders again. Come out. Yep. So okay. All's done. Right. You'll be there. I really appreciate your What's help. What's your work date? My work date is I come back tomorrow, November okay. 1st. Right. But the thing is, it's always Halloween. Here. It's I'm not sure I'll ever be back to work because it kind so of feels like a permanent permanent vacation. Time. Well, that's a great way to look at it. Yeah. Permanent vacation. But the thing is, I'm not technically allowed because Patty keeps saying, go back to work. So I'm never really at ease. I'm always anxious because I don't know if I should really be here today. Taking this vacation. You think Patty likes you? Patty? Well, I mean, to be fair, Patty's like 30 years older than me. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, anything is possible. We live in a small town. There's not many options. That's the thing. There's not go. many options. But do you guys know why it's Halloween every day here? Why is it Halloween? No. Well, I don't. Well, I'm asking you. Do you know why it's oh, Halloween man. every day? No, no. We gotta find out why it's Halloween. We'll figure it out. Listen, I got a tidbit for you. I got a tidbit. <laughs> Let's hear it. The Marlowe family runs the Midnight Mortuary, and they've always been really, really nice to me because they come to the diner all the time. They say, "Hey, where's our mortuary special?" What that is is the cherry pie and coffee special. You hear about it on MFAM, the radio station. Right. Yeah. It's very helpful information. So I serve them the mortuary special, and then sometimes I follow them back to the mortuary. And what I hear there, it's kind of weird. In the middle of the night, when it's completely dark outside, I hear this kind of coming from the mortuary. It sounds like a didgeridoo, but it's not a didgeridoo because we're not in Australia. No, right, right, of course. I think they might be doing some weird stuff over there. I think we might have to check it out. I think you should check out the mortuary. And if anyone's to blame for making it Halloween every day here, I suspect it's them. But maybe you can figure it out for yourself. You seem a lot smarter than me. There you go. We'll let you know, Reggie. Reggie. Thank you so much. You're the the man, Reggie. Reggie. You're the man. You're the man, and you're the man. Again, Reggie. Stay safe. We'll bring them over. Again, that bow tie, though. Thank you so much. Ah, thank you. You should get one for yourself, too. Very fashionable. Thinking about it. Good luck. Stay safe. Have a great night, Reggie. Hey, we gotta go to the 
bathroom next time. <laughs> Extra crispy. Midnight Mortuary, Tammy, Midnight Mortuary, what do we think? Oh, I wanted to go in the crawl space. That was a lot that of fun. Was, that was a lot of info. She wanted to go in the crawl space, he had a lot of fun. Yeah. We, we're gonna go through it again because there was a scene, there's like an alternate scene that I'll put in the video, yeah. but uh, there's like a bathroom scene that we're gonna try to go through, but overall, it was a good maze. I'm actually, yeah. so far, really liking the event a yeah. lot. Interconnectivity, uh, um, the, the crawl space thing was interesting, thank God they had a side route for us, us fat boys. Right. So, uh, we're gonna head through, I think, Trick or Treat right now. Yeah. Um, we also got a lot of info for the story, and yeah, I'm, I'm really much looking forward to it. Really, really good time. Really, really good, good time. time. Really good time. All Stay right. tuned. Sammy, what are we about to go through, doggy? Oh, no, trick or Treat. Okay, gonna get candy? Always. Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat. Oh, wow. I like your, uh, oh, there's candy in them. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, we're dumb. Oh, look at that one. The doorbell. Because they weren't safe. Take tips for me, because I'm safe. I'm always safe. I wear my vest, I wear my goggles, and I wear my helmets. If I could get it out of there. There we go. And my helmet. Yeah. Yes! Woo! Thank you. Now be safe and leave me. They don't listen. I know. Nobody listens I to listen. safety. I, I listen. Thank you. I got you. Help! You gotta get out of here. They're gonna kill me. Oh, get out! He said we're trying. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna go <laughs> he can't attract you. You gotta. You have choice though. You can get out. Get out! I follow us. No! Like that. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yes. You gotta utilize the space, and he knows what he's doing. <laughs> More in that scene with the parkour, like yeah, it's the playground. Park, that. Yeah, that, that, I really felt like we may have caught the scare actors changing or something. Probably because there wasn't a lot of scares from there. But when we walked in, the guy said that there's no one, that no one's been there, so they've probably yeah. been just kind of like hanging around or whatever. Yeah. Um, so, trick or treat was fun. Trick or treat was a lot of fun. Very fun. A lot of great little scenes throughout. Right. So we got candy. Yeah, candy. Candy's um, always good because I'm fat. I think the maze that took it though was Midnight Mortuary. Yeah, Midnight Mortuary was big. Yeah, it was awesome. Has alternate routes, has great satanic worshiping. Satanic worshiping. Uh, shout out to um, our shout out to our boy Reginald. Yeah, Reginald has been great all night. Yeah, yeah, giving us like the tips of going. Yeah. Good to have something to do, you know? Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 We went through the more tree. Yeah. Alright, what's going on? 
Uh, What's some happening? Crazy there's stuff. A lot. I don't even know how to explain it. There's, uh, there's a lot of sheep and goats. Not that's sheep, not there are goats. No, that's uh, not good. At the mortuary. Oh, the mortuary. Yeah. Well, see, that's always the sign that some kind of weird, like, Satan thing is going on, right? Yeah. The goats. Yeah, like, like you know, things. like that guy, no, the, the bad guy in the underworld. He has, like, goats. The horns and Yeah, yeah. He has goats, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not very well versed in mythology, but I think it's something like that. It's something like that. I went to college. Oh, that's not. Me too. That's not. That's great. Educated people. Yay. There you go. Oh, I was educated in the custodial arts. Oh, can we get a picture? Absolutely. I would, first, just of you. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Yes, this is going to be going. Giving us a story and everything. Our boy Herschel. Our boy Herschel, who actually owns this ice cream truck that we're standing yeah. in front of. <laughs> and your name? Take him somewhere. Take him somewhere. by far the best one tonight. Mm -hmm. Is this your truck? Alright. Thank you, Herschel. Sick ride. Um, that is going to do it for our Haunted Hayride vlog. We had an amazing time and we are definitely going to be coming back next year. Definitely. This will definitely be a new year-round thing. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Hold on. There's my boy right there. What's up, bro? That's my boy. What's bro. up, bro? Uh, all the characters were good from the jock to the cheerleader, uh, Miss Midnight Falls herself, the counselor, the pesticide guy. Yeah. It was awesome. They're very interactive here. Yeah. I love it. This was, I guess, a new turn when 13th floor and Play Productions came over. Yeah. And they did, an, they did a fantastic job with the event. So. Yeah, definitely. Interconnectivity is Great. I love everything here 
has a purpose. I love the interactiveness, the storyline. It's, it's awesome. Bro, how can we forget the great concert we got to watch? I know, the concert was awesome. Yeah. Um, which, if you guys want to see that video, it's in somewhere. Somewhere. Link in the description. Yes. But, uh, yeah, thank you, Haunted Hayride, for actually giving us the free tickets at Midsummer Screen. Yeah, definitely. And uh, we're definitely going to be back next year. So yeah, A lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching this video, and we will see you guys in the next one.